are blue products safe to use? Well, that all depends on how much you value privacy, how much you read the fine print, and how much you take action. It all begins with the device setup where it gives you the option about your blue device. You do not actually have to agree to all four. These bottom two, you do not have to agree to to continue. Let's go through them one by one. Let's go with EULA. EULA is going to be just this section right here. You can pause and read that. It's pretty much standard license agreement. The second is the privacy terms. This is also one you have to agree to. This is here. You can pause it and read if you like. And now we'll go to this one, the third one, the device usage terms. Let's see what that's about. It's going to be this section right here. And it is, if you check this box, you will allow Blue to retain personal identifiable information. Which is not something most people would like to do if they know about it. So it's very important that if you value privacy, you will uncheck this third box. Box number four, the marketing terms. This is also one you do not have to agree to. Pretty much, are you sure you don't want to get emails? Yes, I don't want to get emails. If you check out the marketing terms, it's going to be this section here. And you can pause to read the whole thing if you like. Pretty much is you are opting out of getting emails from them. To get through this screen, you only have to check these first two boxes. You can press next to continue. On this screen of setup, it again asks you, hey, you want to get emails. You don't have to. You can put none. You can press next. Actually, you don't want to get emails. See? Same thing that you saw on the previous screen. Yes, I don't want emails. And again, the VIP newsletter. Well, you don't have to sign up for that either. You can just uncheck and do next. Let's go down the list of these apps that were pre-installed with a phone. Start from the top here. FM Radio. That's fine. This Games Hub is what I'm curious about. Value my privacy. Oh, right. Look at this, mobile services doing its magic. You can see what apps it installed. All of these were installed without your permission. Just because the mobile services thought it was a good idea. Editors note the DT Verify app listed here. I could not find under the normal app list. I could not find it under the system app list. It's like it's not there. Take that for what it's worth games we value privacy look mobile services that app again we'll come back to that app later right now let's see how much games files are privacy and this is good stuff right here guys I'm not gonna read through the whole thing of course I'm just gonna get to the juicy bits mostly the bold letters what we information we collect personal information information that's Personally tied to the individual. Interesting. This is the fun stuff. The mobile delivery platform. And known as Ignite. Let's see what this installer platform does. It can remotely install applications. Pretty much without seeing what it's doing. Until after it does it. No input from the user. Let's see what kind of information it collects. Identifiers. Android Advertising ID, Digital Turbine ID, IMSI, MDN, IMEI, IP address. All this is personally identifiable information. No good. News Hub. This News Hub is another app we'll come back to. Let's see what information it collects. Identifiers. It's the IP address, the Google Advertiser ID, and the device specific anonymous ID well at least there's something anonymous about it I don't buy it but it says that let's see personal information categories list in the California customer record statute zip code so this news hub will get your zip code without pretty much you telling it it just grabs it from you looks like when you interact with these apps like news hub you allow all these different products to become tracking technologies. What do they do with these tracking technologies? 
third parties automatically collect information about you, your online behavior, and your device. Of course, to enhance our services. Well, I don't want your services. Here are the authorized third parties that collect your personal identifiable information. Microsoft, Outbrain, I think that's a company behind some of these games. We'll check on that in a minute, and Google. So these are the three authorized third parties that it shares information with. Pretty much under the sharing personal information says, yeah, we just close to these third parties. And in addition to those third parties listed above, it looks like in the preceding 12 months, we may have disclosed your personal information with these people and companies and things. Customers, the carriers and device manufacturers. This is not a carrier device. This is a blue product. So it's not in a carrier store. This is a blue G91 Pro. So this is so Blue is learning about your personal information that gets shared with them. And to advertisers, of course, advertiser networks and service providers, whatever that may entail. And it, when it comes to selling your personal information, at least they say they do not sell your information. They're not making money off of it. But why would they be sharing it if they're not getting something in return for it? Strange. You have a right to delete the information that they collected about you. You just follow the link and follow the instructions. And when it comes to the News Hub app, these are the third parties that they share your personal information with. Okay, if you'd like to see how they use your collected information, you can pause the video here and read that. Okay, let's see what this mobile services app is up to. And to begin, it is using more system resources than any other app that's currently open. It is showing up as a system app because it's in red. Let's go ahead and click on that and get some more details. Let's see how long it's been up, all that stuff. You can see actually what activities it's been doing. I am not knowledgeable to know what these activities are, so if anybody in the comments can let me know, please do. What I do understand is the permissions it is given. Let's see, you can go down the list here and let's pick out the fun ones. Reorder running apps. Pretty much it means it can bring apps to the background, to the foreground, and vice versa. It can prevent your phone from sleeping so it can keep it up. can install packages, which pretty much means batch app installs by the sounds of it. It installs shortcuts, uninstall shortcuts, of course it can run at setup. It can read privileged phone state. I don't know exactly what that means, but it does not sound too exciting. You can read your phone status and identity. And what this does, you can find out what your phone number is and all the device IDs tied to your phone number, either you're on a call, things like that. View Wi-Fi connections, let's see, you can see what Wi-Fi network I'm connected to. Ah, retrieve running apps. You can see what apps you have currently running on your phone. How fun! Look at this one, this is kind of shady. Query all packages, it pretty much sounds like it gets the name of every app installer that's been on your phone. And this is another fun one, download files without notification. So this is how it installs apps without telling you it's doing it until after it's done and then boom, these apps pop up again. Okay, these last three, I don't know what they mean, but they are not cool. And as you can see, all these permissions are granted to this mobile services app. The good thing about this app is it can be disabled. Let's see if we can do that now. Okay, you're going to go to Apps, All Apps, it's a system app, so you do have to show System, and let's get to that Mobile Services app, that's the real fun one, guys. Mobile Services, there it is, Mobile Services, there is the culprit, yes, it does allow you to disable it, go ahead and force stop it beforehand gonna disable it because it is up to no good in the neighborhood 
I'm also going to clear out this storage so it has deletes all the data it's collected. At least on my device, it's probably uploaded all that to the internet by now. With that mobile services app disabled, it should not be able to install these apps again on your device in the background without notifying you. Like all these apps that is downloaded, you can uninstall them and they shouldn't come back. Uninstall all of these apps. And with the mobile services disabled, they should not be coming back on their own. Oh, can't forget about Games Hub. That's the most fun one, guys. Goodbye. As for this STK app, or SIM Toolkit app, I have a SIM installed, but when I click it, it's not ready or unsupported. So I don't know what exactly that does. If somebody knows what that does, go ahead and reach out to me in the comments. I would appreciate it. The bad thing about this is you cannot uninstall it. You can also not disable it. So the best thing you can do is just force stop it and clear the storage. So I don't think it has any effect on being able to use my mobile data, which is on now. There is also this app called Blue Alerts I found on the phone. Let's see what permissions it has. Location cannot be changed it has access to your phone it cannot be changed but luckily for this one yes it can be disabled so should not be doing any more shady things in the background if anybody knows what this app does let me know in the comments below in conclusion with all those apps disabled or uninstalled I feel that personally it's okay for me to use this phone what I'll do is I'll just hide this STK app from the app list. Other than that, it pretty much seems an okay phone to use, but your opinion may differ from my own, and that's okay. If you feel different, feel the same, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.